Hello there, my name is Michael Klepik. I'm the director of the company Torch Air. We design equipment for cleaning gas, air, and various compounds. Today, we'll talk about water filtration or absorbers. We are responsible for the production of absorbers, both from plastics, just like with the absorber we have here, made from polypropylene, and from various metals, such as non-oxidizing metals, and also standard metals prone to corrosion. The scrubber we have here is a packed bed scrubber. The scrubber has a recycling water tank at its scrubber bottom. The recycling water tank accumulates water, cleans the water, and then returns it for circulation into the column, the column's apparatus. The scrubber also consists of a gas inlet flanges, a sprinkler system which is mounted on top of the scrubber, and many packings. Inside the scrubber, you'll find these packings. The packings evidently are motionless and fixed on the support grid. There will be about 1 to 1.5 meter cubed of such fixed packings here. The job is to create the proper filtration area. Also, the fixed packings are sprinkled with water or a special liquid. This scrubber operates to the following principle. Contaminated gas gets into the inlet flange and flows further into the column, where the packings are located. The packings are fixed and motionless. In this case, we have Paul rings here. The packings are constantly sprayed under pressure by several nozzles from above. This means that the entire space with packings is sprayed by all of the nozzles simultaneously. The packings are sprayed with water, or water with some admixture, both alkali or something else, and clean the inlet gas. In this case, a certain acid with air will enter the space, and this acid should be quenched. Since there are a large number of packings here, they have a complex shape. So, the packings have a large filtration area. Water flowing down the packings has a great area of contact with gas. Ultimately, this is the reason for this type of scrubber possessing such a high level of efficiency. After that, cleaned gas with water comes onto the wire mesh drip eliminator, which is located on top of the scrubber, and is vented from the scrubber to the outside by the fan. The order for this scrubber was placed with our company by an electroplating factory. It so happens that if you have an electroplating plant, you must use various chemicals which are actively corrosive. Basically, this means that the chemicals are capable of destroying metal. And to avoid this, the customer uses polypropylene products in their production process, like our scrubber. Therefore, polypropylene costs the same as good quality steels. What's more, polypropylene has the same level of durability as a metal like titanium. I've just told you about a packed bed scrubber and described its operation. I believe you now possess a much better understanding of how it works. We produce metal and plastic scrubbers, so don't hesitate to ask. We're here to help.